It's all too easy to believe that love is enough to keep a relationship together. Healthy relationships, on the other hand, need both love and commitment. Setting short and long-term relationship objectives may help a relationship become stronger while ensuring that both partners are on the same page. Relationship objectives can also help you find out whether you and your partner are compatible or not, or even more important, if the relationship is toxic. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a list of 12 relationship goals that determine you have it good. For more informational and helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon so you never miss out any videos from us. Having said that, let's dive right in. Number one, friendship. Being in a long-term relationship shouldn't be seen like work all the time. It should also be enjoyable. Making time to spend with your partner, just like you would with a friend, will help you maintain your relationship. Take up duo hobbies together and partake in fun activities. Making new memories together will give your relationship a new lease of life. Number two, mutual respect. Even if you don't agree with everything your spouse says or does, it's critical to show them respect. You're expressing to your spouse that your partnership is safe enough for each of you to have your own unique life experiences. This can be achieved by saying something like, I do not necessarily agree with you, but I appreciate your perspective. If you feel mistreated by your spouse on a regular basis, it may be time to seek professional help or quit the relationship. Number three, being there for each other. Life may throw you a curveball at any time, and being in a partnership means you're committing to weathering the storm together. When things are going well, it's simple to be there for each other. But whether you can be there for one another when life becomes tough is the actual test of a great relationship. Focus on how you can best help your spouse if they are going through a difficult moment. Make sure you explain your demands if you are the one working on something. Your lover isn't a mind reader. Number four, prioritizing each other. It's crucial to remember to prioritize each other especially as time passes. It's easy to put your long-term relationship on the back shelf with your busy life and full schedules. Shared goals, on the other hand, should always entail constant affection and care. A strong long-term relationship necessitates putting in the effort to maintain it. That doesn't mean it's a chore, but rather a commitment. Number five, be open. Being vulnerable might be frightening at first, but being able to express oneself freely is a bedrock of a happy and healthy relationship. There are good and terrible days in every relationship. Your long-term viability will be determined by how you show up for each other on terrible days. It is critical that everyone feels unconditionally loved and that they don't have to suppress their emotions for whatever reason. Number six, having your emotions in control. Your partner is in a psychic. It is up to each person to properly explain the requirements of the other. If your spouse says something that irritates you, instead of giving them the quiet treatment, blowing out or calling them names, simply say, that hurt my feelings. Focusing on your own emotional state and how your partner's actions or words make you feel is a true relationship goal that may be highly beneficial. Number seven, no judgment. No one likes being chastised especially when they are sharing a terrible experience with their spouse. Creating a judgment-free zone will make it easier for your spouse to be open and honest with you. If you are irritated and don't think you'll be able to keep your cool, find a method to take a break and return to the unpleasant topic once you're calmer. While it's never pleasant to have uncomfortable talks, it is vital if you want to strengthen your relationship in the long run. Number eight, good communication. Everyone has a varied background worldview, strengths, and limitations when they go into a romantic relationship. Do not assume you know how your spouse feels about a certain subject. Your common goals should also involve improving your communication skills with each other, which is essential for a healthy partnership. Couples counseling can help you have a better understanding of each other and enhance your communication. Number nine, having similar core values. Making sure that you and your partner have the same basic values and views should be a priority in your relationship objectives. This isn't a one-time chat. It is a dialogue that continues as your circumstances change. 
and you grow as people and as a group. Hypothetically, you're looking for a place to call home and you would want it to settle down. It's necessary for your partner to be on the same page as you if the relationship is to work. It is crucial to talk to your spouse about what you want in life so you can figure out how to move forward together. Number 10. Understanding. Everyone has distinct relationship goals, and not everyone shows affection the same way. This is when figuring out your love language comes in handy. Understanding your love language and your spouse's love language can help you in your relationship and establish a better understanding and support for one another. Number 11. Accept each other's flaws. One of the crucial relationship goals to remember, but easy to overlook, is that no relationship is flawless. You are not flawless, and neither is your partner. You are two flawed individuals who love each other and have decided to spend their lives together. Relationships are frequently portrayed as immaculate in fairy tales, but a bond where you accept each other's drawbacks is like no other. Number 12. Making time for yourself. No matter how much you like and cherish a person's presence, you must periodically let go and take some time for yourself. This is beneficial to a healthy relationship and should be one of your relationship objectives. You and the other person both require time to concentrate, ponder, read, or pursue your interests. Hopefully, this list makes it clear on what relationship goals are actually like and how they help you lead a successful romantic life. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.